Turning now to the ongoing investigation of the remains of the tragic Sewell Ferry. The cargo bay and cabins were disclosed to the public two weeks after the hull of the Sewell Ferry was set straight up. An inspection committee plans to resume the search for the missing and investigate the cause of the accident after completing safety reinforcements. Here's a glimpse inside the vessel. The Sewell Ferry severely corroded port side stands exposed. When KBS reporters stepped inside the cargo bay on the second floor, they were overwhelmed with the stink of gasoline and mud. A climb up the stairs covered by barnacles leads into the kitchen and the lobby where passengers spent a lot of their time. Cabins for male students are located one story up on the fourth deck where Park Yong in and Nam Hyun Chol, two still missing students, were last seen. The plywood walls put up during the renovation were gone without a trace, and the bathroom is filled with mud. A broken suitcase bears witness to the harrowing day four years ago. Investigators walk up to the ship's head on the third deck to find partial damage to the right anchor. The underside of the ship's head also suffered damage in various places. The whole inspection committee plans to investigate the steering equipment and ballast water level in the engine room and the steering house, which are still closed due to safety reasons. Meanwhile, the search for the still missing passengers will begin in July.